It's, it's disappointing, but uh, it gives uh, everybody time to uh, reflect on what happened this year and, and what we need to do better next year. Because the expectations were, were high coming into this, I think both um, uh, on a team but also an individual uh, from everybody. Uh, so it, it is disappointing. We're not far off. Uh, and like I say, if, if we assess this the right way, if we go back and, and look ourselves in the mirror and, and know what we got to get and done next year, then everybody will, will use this off season to to work hard and get back in, in the shape and in the in the state of mind that we need to to, to go on and win next year. Now my work is done. I, I, I have to see with my manager what happened, uh, have meeting with the club and make the good solution for, for me and for, for the club. I don't know what happened and and just say like I have a good conversation with the Robo, with the Rec and and I'm really happy to to play here, but I don't know what happened now for the future. Last year and, and this year, I, I think he'd be the first to tell you that he hasn't had the the, the same impact. And um, for us, it, it's something that um, we need to look at. And we need to determine, you know, in moving forward, um, what do we need to do to upgrade? And uh, there'll be decisions made on on uh, a number of players, not just Pedro. There's fine lines between the, the teams in the league. You've shown that, and it doesn't matter the names on paper. It's irrelevant. You know, they help in key games at key times, but it's about simple basics, rolling your sleeves up and running and fighting and tackling. And whether you're in Scotland, England, or in Brazil or Argentina or MLS, it's the same concepts. The team that usually works the hardest is the team that wins, uh, and we've got to get back to that.